So my grandpa was just 18 years old when he was affected by the incarceration. Um, he was living in San Francisco at the time with his family and then he um, was sent over uh, to the Santa Anita racetracks and then he lived in horse stalls and it was very not the prettiest um, living situation and then after that he was um, trained to Heart Mountain in Wyoming so he lived there for a year or two and then after that he served in the military. The only reason why I know about it is because I was super curious about my history and um, learning more about what happened to my family but if it hadn't been for my curiosity I don't think I would have learned much about um, Japanese American history. In high school they, they teach you nothing about this history. They teach you that in World War II, this is who we were fighting with, this is what happened. Um, they were sent to these camps, but then they were eventually let out and America apologized. Like, I remember, like, the paragraph, I don't know why I remember this, but I remember the, the paragraph of, like, this chapter. Literally, it was, like, two paragraphs about this entire history. Um, and definitely at the time, like, I didn't think of anything of it, you know, you're just like, you're in high school, this is what they teach you, this is what you think is important. The Qatari Project is a project to educate young college students about Japanese American history. The goal of the project is to close the generation gaps that has been made over time and to allow college students to share their knowledge and experiences to a wider audience. At the Qatari Project, we walk around the National Historic Site with the former incarcerated and Manzanar Committee. They share their knowledge as we walk through all the barracks and grounds that they were at. And just being there with the former incarcerated and hearing their personal experiences has given me so much like emotions and perspectives about the history. Going to Manzanar um, in person was definitely an eye-opening experience you get to ex kind of experience what it was like for them during that time. Um, the weather, it was horrible, it was super windy, sand is blowing in your face constantly. Um, their bathrooms, it, they basically had many stalls with no doors and they multiple families shared the same barrack or horse stall and when you go there in person you really get to see what it was like for them. After I went to Manzanar, I think I really learned about a lot of the injustices that happened to Japanese Americans. You really see in person how they were treated and um, even being American citizens or not, they were treated like animals, they were treated like they were aliens and they were treated so inhumanely and I think um, it was shocking to see that the American government lock up people just because of their fear of a different nationality coming after them. Going to the Qatari trip made me realize how little I knew and made me reaffirm how important it is to keep on educating ourselves and others about this history. But it was a life-changing experience, really. I learned how this history like still affects people today. Like On a serious note, it's something that some people don't even like to talk about and refuse to talk about. And so I think me being able to go and experience it and hear the stories and then bring it back and share it with people is really amazing. I definitely want everyone to go experience Manzanar, not just Manzanar but the other 10 incarceration camps um, because it's important that not just Japanese Americans but other Americans and just other citizens of the world see what happened so this kind of thing doesn't happen again. I know right now it's there's a lot of injustices happening to Muslim Americans and it's important to learn from our mistakes. So it's important for all people, no matter what race you are, to go see what happened to our history.